We almost made it, y'all. We almost made it through this video without any interruptions. And then, and then when they, it looks like there was like a little glitch or something. So I was telling y'all something before the phone hung up or went dead, and that was about the pork chops I cooked for the first time. My friend asked me if I use new oil, and I told her yes, and she said, well, that's why they're so light. And I just thought that was funny, you know, never realized my mama was just using the same oil over and over and over again. I was still on the air. I was still on the air. All right. Uh-oh. All right, so we down to the nitty gritty, the last four pieces. If I didn't know any better, I'd be eating a piece of that chicken, but I know it ain't done all the way through. Y'all watch that chicken for me. I'm gonna come over here and clean this up. So Talia, as you guys know, um, is autistic and she's nonverbal. Um, she does make sounds, but she is talking. Oh my gosh, she's talking, y'all. Um, she's her words are very slurred, and I think me and Trinity are really the only ones that can understand what she's saying. You know how when a, a toddler starts to talk, uh, oh, she's nine, by the way. She'll be uh, 10 in November. But you know when a toddler starts to talk, usually the, the mama is the only one that can understand what they're saying. So that's kind of how it is. But I'm excited. I'm so excited. Y'all see that? It sure is. 
is, oh, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Looking good, nice and flaky. Are we on the air? All right. Y'all, I am so ready to get back to work and cut some dirt here. I'm about to line up all of these dogs in this house and start hauling them up. Every dog in this house is going to have a brand new haircut. I heard you say that, people be like, wait a minute, what you mean? And I've been asking you to take care of But see, here's the thing. It's not that I don't want to take care of I'm so busy mothering, teaching, cooking, cleaning, that I don't have time. Also learning myself, because, yes, baby, you keep doing the same thing, honey. I did. I saw it the first three times, baby. So anyway, plus I'm a student myself. And you know kids are unpredictable, let me tell you, because one day things will go so smooth and they'll lay down and watch a movie or take a nap or read a book, they'll give me the opportunity to study. Sorry y'all, clean it up. And then, the next day, it'll be like, huh, you want me to do what? You want me to lay down. You want me to read a book. You want me to go watch TV. <laughs> you thought I was taking a nap. Not today. No matter how much I try to keep them on routine, they will straight up be like, not today. Okay, y'all, hold on. I'm going to uh, get some of this grease out of here. All right, y'all. So, see how much oil I have in there. Okay. I am now... I'm going to put some onion in there. And let me tell you, you can do this if you want to do like a smothered steak, if you want to do a smothered pork chop, if you want to do liver and onions. I do not eat no darn liver. If you want to smother some gizzards, if you want to smother some girlfriend, uh, boyfriend, whoever is out there in the world of YouTube, whatever it is, okay, that you want to smother with some brown gravy or what have you, you go ahead and you do this right here, okay. Put 
Can y'all see what I'm doing? Right now I'm putting it in there upside down. Okay. Go ahead and put them all back in there. Turn your fire down. Get back on the turn on. Make sure you turn the fire down. Slowly add in water. Slowly. Because you don't want to start no fire. Thank goodness that thing turned off. It is driving me crazy. Add the water. Turn the heat back up. So what is going to happen is all of that uh, flour is going to come off of the meat. Let me see. Can y'all see that? That flour is going to end up coming off the meat and it's going to thicken the water and turn it into a gravy. So I'm going to go ahead and Put y'all on pause for a minute. Let this come to a simmer and then come back and show you. All right, let's check it. See what we got going on. Talia, would you stop? That's going to be so tender. Spitting on people now, cut it out. Y'all 
y'all. Do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear what I have to go through? Uh, uh, uh. All right, so I'm just going to let that go on ahead and simmer so that gravy can thicken on up on there. Can y'all see that? Okay. As this cooks off or down or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, flour thickens up as it cooks. So I'm going to cover this back up, let it finish cooking, go uh, mix up my mashed potatoes and go and redirect this girl because she in there. By the way, that was Talia that said stop. Let's check on our chicken. The mashed potatoes are done. Oh, that chicken smells so good. Can y'all see that? You see how that gravy has thickened on up? Talia and Taylor, stop! I'm glad y'all are, are having fun and playing. I don't mind the playing. It's her spitting on you. That's not funny. Can y'all see that? Mm -mm. Don't that look good? Don't that look good? Mix that gravy all around. Make sure there ain't no flour down there at the bottom. gonna let this go on ahead and simmer um, what I will do is plate it up and put the picture in the thumbnail oh let me show you all the potatoes I kept it simple with the potatoes today I just used the a masher and mashed it up left a little bit of that potato water in there put some butter and some salt um, because I'm trying not to use up all the milk but Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Peace.